Good morning guys. Do you know what is the sunken cost fallacy? Well, the sunken cost fallacy is a mistake you can make when you have already invested a lot of time or a lot of money or a lot of effort in a project. And you know this project is gonna fail anyway, but only because you've invested so much already, you keep on going. That's basically the sunken cost fallacy. You only look at the costs which are already sunken. Anyway, you've spent the money, it's gone. But you think, okay, now I've spent so much. I have to keep on going, keep on going. And it gets worse and worse. Problem is sometimes you don't know if this is the sunken cost fallacy. Because I mean, ideally you would decide every moment. Is it right to go on with a project? Is it right to go on with an idea? No matter how much effort you put in it. But on the other hand, sometimes it's really worth it and sometimes the idea is a good idea and that sometimes you don't know in front. So it's not always that easy to decide if it's a sunken cost fallacy at the moment. So what's the context of this? Um, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to the Aspire conference. Aspire, Manufacturing of Change, which is supposed to be a really interesting conference. And I got my ticket for this and I bought the ticket. And the conference already started yesterday. And yesterday I couldn't go there because I was working, unfortunately. And today I felt so tired, of course. I only slept six hours. And I felt so tired. And I thought, okay, I've already spent this money. Now I should go there. So, sunk cost fallacy. Maybe. Oh, my knees hurt from standing and presenting the whole day, uh, the whole week. I need a weekend. <laughs> Yes, um, you already know Aspire, you know me, so I'm Benedict, nice to meet you again. Um, we um, are an organization that has traditionally for the last 60 years organized this event that you're just participating in. And um, this was all done on a volunteer basis. Um, and usually a lot of our the people that helped us, they um, then got deeper in, engaged with all the different organizations that we are in contact with. So um, this is one side of what we do, we also tried out many different other events. We had something called Aspire Academy. Um, we we held it was an Aspire Academy, right? Yeah. So um, where also some projects came out of that that is now continuing um, doing good in, the, in, in Austria and civil society. Hello, my name is Patrick. Uh, my name is Helmut Gruber from Pattern for Change. <laughs> um, I'm working for an organization called uh, Options and Rule Platform zur Stärkung der Zivilgesellschaft. We are running several projects and one of them is Passion for Change. Um, we are trying to strengthen the public sphere of the civil society with our project. And I'm going to talk about Passion for Change that is just being set up at the moment. It's uh, um, a zonal synthetic crowdfunding platform for change makers. So it focuses on people, it's a crowdfunding platform, and it's focusing, focusing especially on change makers. Um, so, what's the, the special thing about it is that um, we uh, want to put people on the, the focus, so we want to uh, put a video online where they speak about who they are. Um, um, what they see as a problem in the world and how they want to tackle it. And people who see them, see this video, can uh, click uh, on their profile, uh, click and put, give them uh, money 
each month, so it generates some kind of a basic income. And if a lot of people do this, do this thing, uh, these people get a general uh, basic income. Because what we see is a problem in our surrounding with uh, Option 7.0 that people have a lot of uh, ideas and they are afraid to just start it. And um, so we want to help them that they get some kind of backup and have a free, uh, so that they can uh, start a project. Um, at the moment, it is being uh, programmed by a group of students at the TU, and um, I would like to invite you to like the, uh, the Facebook site. So we're going to start an online survey soon, so you can take part be part of this. And how you can help us, uh, you can just ask me afterwards. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So that's it for the for me first day of the Aspire Manufacturer of Change conference. For them it was the second day, but yesterday, as I said, I couldn't come. It was cool. It was cool. I really enjoyed the meditation session. We had a joint meditation session together and that was really something I needed at the moment. And I'm really looking forward to going home now and having a weekend. And, but yeah, it was inspiring. I learned a lot about myself, actually. That was the interesting part. We did like a canvas about ourselves and our job, sort of. And I learned that I'm actually quite good in a lot of fields and I have a lot of competencies and that I'm sort of a, I wouldn't say teacher, but enabler in my work, like all my fields are sort of enabling people to do something else, ideally, of course. So that was an interesting thing that if I would have a word for myself, I'm an enabler. And if I put, if I would put a title on this year so far, interesting question, ask yourself if you would um, put a title uh, of a book, if you would write a book about this year, what would the title be? For me, it would be consolidation in times of change. <laughs> what would your title be for this year? Let me know in the comments below. All right, now I'm going finally home for the weekend.